If you follow me on my Instagram, you probably know that a few days ago I relapsed on my NoFap journey. I relapsed on day 36 and actually it's uh, the same as the last attempt I tried. So that's pretty weird. But today I just wanted to make this video to kind of like, it's unscripted. Uh, I have a script but uh, I'm, I'm not gonna try to look at it too much I, i'm just gonna be real with you guys for a second here so it's i i just wanted to make this video to maybe help you guys to learn with me learn from my mistakes because relapses do happen and they uh, even for people who go on high streaks i consider this as a high streak on day 36 uh, but yeah so maybe we can just go along uh, I will think about why I relapsed and maybe we can all learn together here. So uh, the first thing um, why I think I relapsed is because that day, I don't know why, but actually I know why, but that day I really craved a lot of junk food and like food that are high in sugars. I don't know why. So I, why did I say that? Okay, <laughs> yeah, as I said, this is unscripted, so it's pretty hard for me uh, to think clearly. But uh, so, yeah, junk food. Uh, that day I ate a lot of junk food. Uh, and I don't know if you guys noticed this in your NoFap journey, but whenever I eat a lot of bad food, like McDonald's, for example, or pizza, my brain kind of goes into, into this lazy state where it craves even more dopamine. You know, you know that pizza and hamburgers and all the, the other junk food produce a lot of dopamine. So when I actually eat that, uh, my brain searches for even more dopamine. Uh, and uh, the one thing that it goes for me is to, it wants to achieve an orgasm. You know, it gives me strong urges. And as you can see, the urges got to me on day 36. Uh, so I think that's one one piece of advice from this. Uh, the first piece of advice from my relapse is that try to avoid the junk food because even though like try to eat light. I know I, I I'm saying this, but I also eat a lot of bad food. I should try to change that, um, and I'm trying like step by step, uh, but really try to avoid maybe maybe it's better to say to avoid overeating uh, because it's like you're just secure to your couch and you can't move uh, and then you feel lazy and you're like probably your brain is like well since i ate a lot of shit and now i'm i'm like i feel bad about myself why not just masturbate too and like feel good for a bit but it's like it doesn't matter it does matter guys so uh, that's one piece of advice for, for me. Uh, the second thing is that I was in my flat line. So I noticed that every time I'm on these high streaks of NoFap, you know, all the benefits start to disappear. That's essentially what flat line is. And uh, I'm sure it happened or will happen to you guys. Um, so, and this is what uh, what's happening to me every time I get an urge. Okay, not not every time. But when I get strong urges, this is this is what I do, guys. Listen to this. It's so stupid, but I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. So what I do is I pretty much just start browsing internet for articles that say that masturbation is like good for you, or maybe that if you're not watching porn, then you're missing out, and uh, and it's not actually scientifically not healthy to. Uh, watch porn you know so that's that's uh, like it's so stupid but that's what I do every time I'm I, I don't understand myself and and the thing that pisses me off about this relapse right now is that I was doing the same thing and so yeah the second thing I think would uh, for my advice would be is to try to catch your thoughts like try to differentiate your rational thoughts from your like emotions when you're thinking about uh, uh, when you're trying to uh, when you're beginning to come up with excuses because that's the thing that I didn't notice I didn't notice that I was making an excuse or maybe I did notice but somehow like those excuses were strong enough for me to forget my reason like my the why and you guys already know that I preach about 
knowing the true reason you're doing the snowfab journey, knowing the why. So I'm actually like pretty hypocritical that I didn't look at it, but that's like, I, 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 I'm not going to sit here and say excuses why I relapsed. I'm just going to explain why I relapsed uh, and just look at it, learn. Um, let me see if I have any other bullet points that I want to talk about. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Like, it's it sucks, you know. The relapse sucks, but you have to you have to just move forward. <laughs> so I think that's that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. Uh, I just wanted to try out this kind of like unscripted uh, method to talk with you guys um, to be real for a second here. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like. Watch my other NoFab videos. Um, we're going again on the journey. We're, new goal is day 40 uh, because as, as you can see, I relapsed on day 36 again, like two times in a row. So that's pretty, pretty weird. Um, and if you would like more advice on NoFap or maybe you just want to talk about it, share your uh, journey, what obstacles have you encountered, you can follow me on my Instagram and DM me there. Uh, yeah, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more weekly self-improvement content. Um, and I think, I think guys, we're all going to make it. We're all going to get rid of this addiction, but it takes time. That's what I noticed about myself is that I need to take, take things slow. You know, it's because for example, with my work ethic, uh, my last video, if you guys watched it, I talk about like taking things slow and, but being consistent, like, so yeah, yeah. Stay on your journey and take care, guys. Thank you.